Hey guys, Jose Kalunga here with Dalrymple Residential. This is my uh, Quick Tip Friday video. I'm gonna do a series of these, and uh, you know, I get a lot of Facebook messages, and I thought, what a better way to do it than by, you know, just posting a quick video and, and answering the question of the week. So uh, this week, um, I had a Facebook instant message, somebody asking me about a quick tip on, you know, if I had some ideas for them to renovate their house because they're thinking of possibly listing it later on down the road. And we're gonna have that now that we're coming up to spring and we're coming up to summer. So I got a list of, of a few things, very generic, because I haven't seen their house, but I think if you stick to these three things, I think you'll do yourself well, and I think you'll be able to, you know, get going and, and uh, you know, list your house and hopefully sell it. Um, number one, I would say, is speak to a realtor. You know, as a real, real estate agent, we spend hours on hours every single month looking at houses, looking at the MLS, um, looking at, you know, what's in, what's out. And so we know what trends will work and what trends necessarily might not work. So, um, you know, speak to an agent. We'll come out, we'll evaluate it. We'll tell you, you know, if what you're thinking is probably a good idea, if it's going to give you the best bang for your buck. So, um, number one, speak to a real estate agent. Number two, have a list going. Uh, make a list. So you want to do, let's say you want to do your kitchen, your bath, and the landscape in the backyard. Doesn't matter what order you want to do them in, just stick to that order. Don't move on to the next one until you finish the first one. By doing that, that makes sure that you get those things crossed off your list. I'm horrible about that myself. That's my wife. You end up having a bunch of projects open, none of them are never finished. So um, you know, stick, uh, grab a list, stick to it, um, and I think that'll help you. And then number three, don't cut corners. Do it the right way. If you do it the right way, later on down the road, you won't have an, a home inspector come out and tell you that you didn't do it the right way and the, the sale of your house isn't going to go through because, you know, you didn't do it the right way and now you have to pay twice to get it fixed. So don't cut corners, do it the right way and, um, you know, in the long run, that'll pay off. So that way, when somebody comes in with a buyer and they're advised by their real estate agent that they need to get a certified home inspector you'll realize that you did it the right way. Because the last thing you want to do is start taking walls down and find out that that wall you took down was a load-bearing wall. And then, and then you're screwed. Um, you know, if you're going to add an addition to your house, maybe a sunroom or, or um, you know, uh, just a, another addition, make sure you get the proper permits. That's, that's, that's essential. So make sure you do it the right way. Um, so that's what I got for Friday. It's a beautiful day here in Cersei. Go out, spend some time with the kiddos. And, uh, you know, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks.